Pre-collision brake provides for automatic braking to avoid or reduce the severity of frontal accident impacts where an impending collision is detected. When a driver is distracted or does not recognise the potential for a full or partial frontal collision, automatic braking can help the driver to avoid a collision or reduce the severity of any frontal impact. Many accidents, in particular rear-end collisions, occur when drivers become tired or distracted. Because the stereo cameras are constantly monitoring the road ahead, objects that are recognised as dangers are carefully analysed in terms of distance from the vehicle and compared to the eyesight vehicle speed. If it is determined that there is a possibility of a collision, taking into account the vehicle's then current speed, the pre-collision brake is automatically activated to avoid a collision or to minimise the impact. Based on information from the stereo cameras, the computer recognises the danger and as a first stage provides an audible and visual warning to the driver. The second stage of operation, assuming no intervention is taken by the driver following the stage one audible and visual warning, provides a warning brake application of approximately 0.25 G in conjunction with an audible and visual warning. If the driver still fails to take action, either by steering around the object or applying the brakes, then hard braking is automatically applied at approximately 0.8 G with a continuous warning sound. The rear brake lights are illuminated whenever automatic brake control is activated. The EyeSight pre-collision brake operates over a world leading speed range from 1 to 160 km per hour. Collisions can generally be prevented from a relative speed difference of 1 km per hour to 30 km per hour. For relative speed difference between 30 km per hour and 160 km per hour, the pre-collision brake will reduce the speed and force of impact but will generally not avoid impact altogether. Effective operation of pre-collision brake depends heavily upon the road surface, tyre condition and weight of the vehicle. Slippery conditions, as with all vehicle braking, will dramatically impact on the effectiveness of its performance. It is recommended that the pre-collision brake be turned off in conditions where there are branches and or bushes overhanging the road, where there is steam or smoke across the road, or when there are road markings on steep inclines. To turn off the pre-collision brake, press the off switch next to the interior mirror for three seconds or more. A PCB off indicator light on the instrument panel will illuminate. When the ignition switch is turned off and back on, or the switch is again depressed, pre-collision will again be active.